as we continue to travel through these tumultuous times, I believe we have to remember these three important things. Protection, patience and progress. God promises that he will protect us. Sometimes we need patience, but we must remain focused on progressing forward. Psalm 91 3 says, For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from every deadly disease. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. In Psalm 91, we also see other great promises which we must receive as being directly for us, such as He will shelter us under His wings, cover us with His feathers. He encourages us not to be afraid of the terrors by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Also, do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness and the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. promises are for you and they are for right now. We must rest under the wings of protection. It is the safest place that we can be. God loves you and He watches over your life. He desires to protect you. He wants you to rest in His strength. As I worship you As you walk in His strength, He desires that you progress, not regress. God has a great plan for your life and you must not let fear of anything slow you down. To receive His protection, we don't ignore the fact that there is a virus out there, but we stay in relationship with the God of the universe and allow Him to guide us and lead us. If we hear that still, small voice that says, oh, don't go here today, don't go to that particular shopping centre today, then we obey the voice, even if it doesn't seem to make any sense to our natural mind. Staying safe is not ignoring the virus or ignoring the rules. No, it is staying under the covering of God's wings hearing his heartbeat and heeding to his voice. To hear, we have to listen, and when we hear, 
we obey. He goes before us. He knows what is ahead. He will clear the way or warn us. We do not have to worry. We do not have to fear. He is also our rear guard. So, knowing we are protected, we proceed forward. But we must not discount the fact that there will be times of waiting. Sometimes there are delays. Don't be discouraged because things don't happen as quickly as we would like them to. We have to believe that it is worth the wait. Sometimes God is preparing us for what is ahead. He's doing a work on the inside of us. We may think we are well and truly ready, but God knows where we are really at and whether we need more preparation. Now, none of us like to hear that. God is always doing a work within us so that we can progress to greater things ahead. If we have patience and allow God to have His way in us, let patience have its perfect work, we will receive the promises. We need patience to see those future promises come to pass. In the meantime, we must keep an attitude of gratitude as we are patiently waiting for the doors to open. Often we focus on the destination but God is interested in the journey we are on and continuing to work in our life while on that journey. In summary, stay in God's protection. Stay patient while God is preparing you and stay focused on progressing forward. No